between 450 and 500 tons of garbage every day. That's the average intake at the Raleigh County landfill. But all that trash may soon provide the fuel to generate enough electricity to power more than 2,000 homes. The DEP's Brianna Hickman joins us now with the details. The project will use captured methane gas from the landfill to power the generators, a waste product that's currently being burned off. According to the US EPA, about 18% of the country's methane gas emissions come from landfills. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas with 25 times the climate change impact as carbon dioxide. Basically, as anything decomposes, it generates gas, it generates the methane. So the waste that's in our landfill, which is probably over 2 million tons of waste that's in place, uh, has been put in there since 1994, well, as that has been decomposing, you know, it generates the gas in the landfill. If, it, if the gas does not have a escape route out of the landfill, uh, which is permeating up through the closure cap into the uh, atmosphere, then it's just locked into the landfill. Besides its impact on climate change, methane gas buildup in the landfill can cause other serious problems. If you don't do something about it, it causes a lot of problems for the operators. And number one, it does create a bunch of leachate outbreaks. Then you're constantly going back and trying to fix them. And if you can relieve the gas, because the, the water follows the gas, the, the path of least resistance. And if you can take care of the gas problem, the rest of them take care of themselves. Some test wells determined that the landfill was producing fairly high quality gas, about 52% methane. In 2009, the landfill added more than a dozen additional wells, along with the equipment to extract the gas and burn it off. But burning it off was wasting a potentially valuable resource. Right now we're producing approximately 750 standard cubic feet a minute of gas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that gas is very good because it is, it's based on the waste stage of where we've put our, our monitoring wells. After a period of time and it decomposes, then it quits generating the, the methane. But as an active landfill, we're constantly adding waste to it each year. So there's just different areas of the landfill that we want to target to get that maximum uh, waste age gas evacuated. Based on the current waste stream, the Raleigh County Landfill has enough available land for another 120 years of operation, with the ability to generate a usable amount of gas around 90 of those years. It's that potential production that makes the operation economically viable. Power generation from landfill is expected to provide between $100,000 and $150,000 annually to the Solid Waste Authority, so the authority is playing the long game. So we'll have three, four million dollars invested time it's all said and done, which takes quite a while for your return on your investment. Where the Solid Waste Authority looks at this project is that we're doing something proactive, number one, operationally. We know that we can get our leachate back down into our cell where it needs to be. Second of all, we're destroying a greenhouse gas that's good for the environment. And then, of course, third uh, uh, is to see some sort of monetary return on a, on a product that right now we're just destroying. Greg and Kelly, James Allen says besides the operational and environmental benefits, extracting and burning the gas dramatically reduces the smell coming from the landfill. So there's the good neighbor benefit to the community as well. He says since the flare system was installed seven years ago, there's only been one nuisance odor complaint, and that was when the system was down for several days for repairs. For Environment Matters, I'm Brianna Hickman. Thanks, Brianna. Raleigh County will become the second landfill in the state generating electricity from recovered gas. Kanawha County currently has a similar project.